what is incidence of tax like the tax payable or tax calculation the agenda is very simple incidence of tax as well as problems anything which is collected below 50000 irrespective of person exempted interest on saving bank taxable 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 Hello everyone, I am your other sir, lecturing with Yashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. So we are in the topic called your income tax one under that introduction to income tax. Introduction to income tax is your chapter one. Under that we are doing incidence of tax. What is incidence of tax? Like the tax payable or tax calculation for a resident not ordinarily resident as well as non-resident. So in what basis they are taxable? So everything we are calculating. So we already done with two or three problems. It is a continuation of your previous session. Then, so this will be your agenda. The agenda is very simple. Incidence of tax as well as problems. Now, this will be your first problem. So what special today means it is very simple usually i come up with question with solution i used to explain you the concept and solutions but today it is only one person task it is a two person's task how means so you have to keep a book and pen so this will be your question i'll explain you completely as what i was doing in the previous sessions i'll mark all the hint and everything later we will solve the problem. Now, I don't have answers here. We will only solve in today's session. We'll do two problems along with the solutions. We will do it in today's session itself. Now, take a book and pen. So we'll solve this. Take a screenshot of this question. Along with that, we'll solve the question. Now, so you only tell me what will be the answers for this. Now. Income from salary in India. Anything which is in India, we call it as what? It is a taxable in the case of all three persons. So it will be taxable, taxable, as well as taxable for all. Next one. Dividend from Indian company. Any dividend you received from India, Indian company, what do we call? we call it as exempted. So any dividend of Indian company, we call it as exempted. So this will be exempted, exempted as well as exempted, which is not taxable. Then income from house property in India received in England. Income from house property in India. So further information not required. Anything which is in India, Irrespective of further information, we go for taxable for all three cases. Taxable, taxable as well as taxable. Next, dividend from foreign company received in Pakistan. So if it is received in Pakistan, taxable for how many person? Only for one person it is taxable. This will be taxable, exempted as well as exempted. Next one. Income from business in Delhi managed from USA. Now, again, go back to the concept. In the concept, what says? Anything which is related to India, like received in India, earned in India, or the business is located in India. So, all the three persons has to pay tax. Now, as per this, income from business in Delhi. In Delhi means it is in India. So it will be what? Taxable, taxable, as well as taxable for all three cases. Then income from business in USA controlled from Mysore head office. See, anything which is the word called controlled from India. Mysore locates where? In India. So it will be what? It is a taxable for only two persons. Anything which is controlled from India will be taxable for two persons. It will be taxable, taxable as well as exempted for this case. Next, 
Income was earned in Australia and received there. Earned also there, received also there. So only one person taxable, balance two persons are exempted. We will not consider taxable for them. The last one. His maternal uncle sent a bank draft of as a gift. Bank draft as a gift. How do you calculate? As I told you, three things in gift exempted. Now, anything which is collected from relatives exempted. Anything which is collected below 50,000 irrespective of person exempted. Anything which is collected on occasion of marriage irrespective of relative or outsiders it is exempted now as per this maternal uncle gifted means what relative anything given by relative irrespective of amount it is exempted we will not consider this as taxable clear yes now so this will be exempted exempted as well as exempted which is not taxable clear Yes, good. Now, we'll move for the answer. So, how do you calculate or how do you do your answer? Very simple. Compute the gross total income if he is a resident, not ordinarily resident, as well as non-resident. How do you calculate? Now, income taxable on the basis of residential status. Now, this will be your format. Three persons are there. First person is a resident, second person is not ordinarily resident and the last person we call it as non-resident. Clear? Yes. Now, so in this, the first one, what is the first one? I'll go back to your question. So income from salary in India, all three taxable amount is 80,000. Income from salary in India. So all three persons are taxable. The amount will be very simple. 80,000, 80,000 and 80,000. Your amount will be 80,000, 80,000 and 80,000. So it is not compulsory that you should write complete sentence. Whatever information required to solve the problem, that much is sufficient. Again, I'll go back. Dividend from Indian company exempt for all. So amount is not required. Why? Because it is exempted. Now, second one. Dividend from Indian company. Dividend from Indian company. So what will be your answer? We'll check for that. Your answer will be 20,000. So it will be what? Exempt, exempt, exempt. We'll go for next one. Income from house property in India. Income from house property in India. What is the amount? Again, it is 20,000. So your amount is 20,000. Third one. Income from house property in India. So, what is the amount? Amount is 20,000, 20,000 as well as 20,000. So, this column will be nil. So, it is nil. It is not taxable. Clear? Yes. Dividend from foreign company. Any dividend from Indian company is exempted. Any dividend from foreign company, what do we treat? We call it as taxable for one person. Dividend from foreign company, how much it is? 25,000. Now, your fourth one. Dividend from foreign company. So, only one person has to, has to be treated as taxable. Rest two will be exempt from the tax. So dividend from foreign company, it is 25,000. We have taken for one person and balance two person will be exempted. We'll go for the next. Income from business in Delhi. In Delhi means what? In India. So it will be called as what? Taxable, taxable, taxable. So how much it is? 20,000. What is this? 
इनकम फ्रॉम बिजनेस इन डेली ना या फिफ्थ वन इनकम फ्रॉम बिजनेस इन डेली सो हाउ मच इट इज वॉट इज योर अमाउंट आई चेक या अमाउंट इज इनकम फ्रॉम बिजनेस इन डेली इट इज ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड ना दिस विल बी ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड this will be 20000 and this will be 20000 hope you are clear now we'll go back to the next one next income from business in usa controlled from mysore as i told you it may be received outside it may be earned outside but controlled where controlled in india so it will be what it will be taxable for two persons now income from business usa controlled from mysore so sixth one income from business usa controlled from mysore controlled from where mysore now very simple so it will be how much what is the amount i'll go back your yeah, amount is how much 30000 taxable for what all the three members are taxable sorry all the two members are taxable because it is controlled your yeah, amount is 30000 30000 30000 as well as 30 thousand any doubt up to this hopefully no doubt we'll go for the next one in this income was earned in australia received also there but bought into india as i told you bought into india deposited in india those are irrespective are immaterial for us so anything which is bought to india anything which is deposited in india we will not consider those are not part of our question now in this income was earned in australia and received there so it will be taxable for how many person only one person it is taxable how much it is it is only 25000 income from australia your seventh one income from australia so only one person is taxable we'll see what is the amount the amount is 25000 first person we call it as taxable and second and third person will not consider it for taxable we'll go for the last one the last one is his maternal uncle sent a bank draft as a gift as i told you all the gifts will not what exempted it is in case of condition like up to 50000 from outsider from relative unlimited from on occasion of marriage unlimited now this is from relative the amount is 30000 it is exempted now his maternal uncle so it is what gift received next your last one eighth one gift received first person nil second person nil and the third person also we call it as nil hopefully you understood everything now once you done with your problem remember your heading is must income taxable on the basis of residential status below that particular resident you should write completely i don't have space that's why i have used shortcut but while writing in your book you have to write complete sentence or word now particular resident not ordinarily resident and the last person will be non resident now what is the total 80 plus 20 it will be 1 lakh plus 25 1 lakh 25 plus 20 1 lakh 45 plus 30 1 lakh 75 plus 25 this will be 2 lakh So, what is your answer for the first person? Total. Like, what is this? Your total. 
Now, we'll go for second person. 80,000 plus 20, 1 lakh, plus 20, 1 lakh 20, plus 30, 1 lakh 50,000. Now, 80,000 plus 20, it will be 1 lakh, 1 lakh plus 20, 120, plus 30, it will be 1 lakh 50,000. Up to this, any doubt? Hopefully, there is not. We'll cross check that. Income from salary in India, all 3%. Dividend from Indian company only, uh, it is exempted. Income from house property in India, all 3 Dividend from foreign company only, 1%. Income from business in Delhi, all 3 Income from business USA, control from Mysore. So I have done mistake. So this 30,000 will not come for the last person. Why? Because it is controlled. Control means what? Only two persons. So remember, don't commit mistakes like this. Last 30,000 will not come for last person. Why? Because anything which is controlled in India, only two persons are taxable. So your answer will be what? 80 plus 20, 1 lakh. 1 lakh plus 30? 1 lakh 20,000. I'll correct that. So this has to be removed and your total will, must be changed. So this will be how much? Your answer must be nil. So it will be 80 plus 20, 1 lakh, 1 lakh 20,000. Up to this, any doubt? Hopefully there is no doubt. This is all about your problem number one. We'll move for problem number two. This will be your problem number two. From the following information, you have to find out their income. Now, interest on saving bank, taxable, taxable, taxable. Income from agriculture, exempt, exempt, exempt. Dividend received from UK, 1% taxable, exempt, exempt. Income from business controlled by India, taxable, taxable, exempt. Income from house property, the building situated in Pakistan, 1% is taxable, then exempt, exempt. Then, pension income in Belgium for service rendered in India. So it will be easy, taxable, taxable as well as taxable. So I have marked all the hint for your question. We'll move for the answers. Now, interest on saving bank deposit, I'll write down that, interest on First one, interest on saving bank deposit. Saving bank deposit. So how much it is? This will be 5,000 for all three. So this will be 5,000, 5,000 as well as 5,000 for all three. We'll go for the next one. Next, income from agriculture, it is exempted. Now, income from agriculture, income from agriculture. So it will be nil, nil as well as nil. Why? Because it is exempted. We'll go for the third one. Third one will be income from dividend received in UK. Only 1%, that is how much? 10,000 in dividend received in UK. Next. And the third one, dividend received in UK. So first person it will be 10,000. Second and third person we will not consider. Again I'll go back. Next. Your fourth one, income from business controlled by India. Two persons are taxable. Amount is how much? 50,000. So, business controlled by India. Amount is 50,000 and 50,000. And the last column will be nil. Hope you understood. Again, I'll go back. Fifth one. So it will be what? Income from house property. So the building is situated in Pakistan. Means what? One person is taxable. How much amount? 20,000. Your next one. Income from 
house property in the bracket you can write down pakistan so what is the amount they have mentioned we'll check they have mentioned amount of rupees 20000 so this will be 20000 only for first person second and third person are not taxable again i'll go back your last one pension income in belgium for service rendered in india all three are taxable write down this amount is how much 20000 so sixth one pension received in belgium service rendered in india so what is the amount i'll go back to that your amount will be 20000 for all this will be 20000 this will be 20000 and this will be 20000 up to this any doubt so we have marked all the hints then later we are entered in your answer sheet now very simple 5 plus 10 15000 plus 50 65 plus 20 75 and plus 20 this will be 95000 hope you are clear similarly 5 plus 50, 55 plus 20, this will be 75,000. And your last one, 5 plus 20, this will be 25,000. Hope you understood. Now, I'll go back to all your, all your previous slides so that you can take screenshots. Now, so this will be your problem number one. So these are the things you are supposed to calculate. So this will be answer for your first problem for the day. This will be our question number two. And these are the following information you are supposed to find out. These are your residential status, means your answer. So this is all about your today's session. Hope we completed your chapter number one. That is called introduction to taxation. In the next session, we'll come up with the new topic called salary. Thank you.